I find I have a lot of natural inspirations in my life. I love the salt water. There's no place that I can be on Prince Edward Island where I don't get to appreciate the coastline or the beautiful forests and the very pastoral scenery of our fields. Prince Edward Island is a, it's a very small province. It's only one and a quarter million acres. It's also been extensively cut over and heavily settled. So what natural areas we have left are very precious to us. Boaten Island is off the east coast of Prince Edward Island. It's a large island by our standards. It's uh, 600 acres. 200 acres were already owned by the provincial government and protected. However, 400 acres of the island were privately owned and were subdivided into a major cottage subdivision. Fortunately, the Nature Conservancy of Canada has been able to buy that block of land. The Nature Conservancy of Canada acquired Boughton Island in 2007. It was an important acquisition for the organization because it was the last undeveloped island off the coast of Prince Edward Island. This is a special area. I know everybody has their special area, but. I think this area is special for me for two reasons. First of all, it's a very beautiful area. It's a prime example of Prince Edward Island coastline. And secondly, it's important for the species that uh, can inhabit it, like the piping plover, the great blue heron, and the many waterfowl that utilize the pond that's in between the two parts of the island. The piping plover is a small bird, it's a shorebird, but it's an endangered bird. In fact, there are only about uh, 6,000 individuals in the world. So any place where piping plover nests is important and it's very valuable in terms of protecting that bird on Boaten Island. A much larger bird and one that's much more common is the great blue heron. They need complete protection from disturbance during the breeding season so that the only places they breed in this province are on these offshore islands like Boaten Island. Diane Griffin has been a long time volunteer with the Nature Conservancy of Canada. Her conservation efforts were recently recognized by the province of PEI. I got a very pleasant surprise one evening when I got a phone call telling me that I was selected as one of the three recipients for the Order of Prince Edward Island. This is the first time an environmentalist has received the award. It's a great honor, but it also recognized the importance of protection of the environment to all islanders. So that symbol, I think, is uh, the most important part of that award. What was really important about the Nature Conservancy's involvement with Boaten Island is that it purchased the 400 acres of privately owned land and uh, it has turned this land over to the provincial government and the province of Prince Edward Island is to maintain that land as a natural area. It will be available for people to enjoy but under conditions that of course are compatible with the wildlife. There will be no development, uh, there will be no buildings, no interpretive centers. It's going to be a natural place. Boughton Island will remain in its natural state forever. The Nature Conservancy of Canada still plays an active role in its conservation through performing regular monitoring of the piping plovers along with other flora and fauna found on the island. In Prince Edward Island it's really hard to find a place that has true wilderness and Boughton Island is one of those places. It's quiet, there are just the noises of nature. We hear the wind, we hear the waves lapping on the shore, we hear the singing of the birds, which is very special. There's nothing like it. <laughs>